Hello guys, today I want to demonstrate you a package called Laravel Forum. If you want to have a discussion forum, discussion board on your website, this is kind of a separate web page website that would live on slash forum. So you can do your main website, whatever you want to do there and have forum separately with maybe separate design or something that would be just attached to the same user system of your website. And this package is one of the examples that the package explains what it does, but it totally misses the screenshots. So this is kind of my mission with this YouTube channel. I wish to do it more, but with limited time, I'm doing it not for every package. Sometimes I even think I should open some kind of, I don't know, advertisement slot that I could do videos for packages or for software tools that don't have any visual representations on GitHub or whatever. So this is one of those examples. I couldn't understand how it actually looks, so only by installing it, I can see that. So this is exactly what I did. The installation went pretty smoothly. So after installing new Laravel project, I went for composer require, then vendor publish. I needed to choose this forum service provider for publishing and then migrating the database with quite a few forum tables. And this is the result. So this is the fresh Laravel project. But if we go to slash forum, we end up here. So no data on the forum, but luckily inside of the documentation at the very end, I found this PHP artisan forum seed. So let's do exactly that. Done. And let's refresh the page and we should have some dummy data. Yes. So this is how it looks. A typical simple Laravel forum. So you can browse around. You can go to some topic and to some post, but you cannot reply until you log in or register. And when I click login, I realized it's not found. So that forum package assumes that you have already created the login logic and registration and all of that. Luckily, it can be easily solved by doing composer require Laravel breeze and do Laravel breeze install. And that should solve our problem with login and registration. So artisan breeze install, let's choose blade no dark support, no pest for now, and it's been installed. And after it's installed with NPM dependencies, login should work. Meanwhile, I want to emphasize that this package is bootstrap based. So the default design is based not on Tailwind, but on bootstrap. Maybe you have recognized it already visually, but luckily you can customize it pretty easily. So in the resources views vendor, after I launched vendor publish, along other files, it also publishes the view. So vendor forum, and you have a lot of blade views. Among those we have master blade. And here we can see that it's loading bootstrap five from CDN. So here you can do whatever you want. So you can change the head to have tailwind or other framework or some starter kit, also add some styling whatever you want. So this is the master template. It uses also, as you can see, some JavaScript at the end. You can check all the code, but basically it's public. So you can change the views however you want. Is the breeze successful? Yes. Okay. So let's try to refresh the page and go to login. Of course, we don't have anyone to log in with. So let's register fake filler Chrome extension. We register and let's go back to the forum. Now we have create category, we have more buttons. So we go to category, subcategory, post, and then new reply, for example, to something, something, reply. And it has some visual effects of reply added and then auto scroll down or quick reply, maybe reply. Let's try that one. That actually works. Also, we have new things like recent threads, unread and updated threads, manage. It's all in a very simple design, but I guess it's for a reason that you can customize it however you want. But in general, that package works pretty well on the surface level. I didn't dig deeper and didn't really create the threads to test it all, but I'm leaving that for you as a homework. In general, I would recommend that package for a simple forum if you wish to have one on your website. And if you have tried that package, shoot in the comments below whether it was successful and what have you found, or if you know any other alternatives for discussion boards, discussion forums for Laravel, also mention them in the comments. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.